What is TWS podcast uh, episode whatever? Who cares at this point? Bar. <laughs> the rants of the vindicated. It's my podcast. And I do what I want to. People, listen. Word, is this still live? It's not working for me, Rich. I'm gonna keep going. I know I changed my voice at work. Bars on the radio. Oh, what is TWS podcast? Well, I'm ready. I feel like the end. Just staring at my watch and I'm feeling so new school. Suicide attempts. How many tries to take? They ain't ready. They ain't ready. They ain't ready. They ain't ready. ready. All right, so uh, welcome back to another episode of the What Is TWS podcast. Um, as always, I am Zayda Flan. I have my brother here with me, Rich, Rich Nerd. Nerd. And then, uh, today we have two special guests. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> my co-host <laughs> from the yeah, my co-host from the evening with Flans, Hamps, and we got uh, her partner in crime, Jesse. Nice partner in crime. <laughs> that sounds about right. Yeah, say yeah. like that, Jesse, like Jesse, Jesse James or something. So I don't know. Uh, the baby's waking up, so the ladies are going to disappear in a little bit. So we're going to get right into a topic. That sounds kind of misogynistic, didn't it? Like the baby waking up, so the ladies got work to do. <laughs> right. <You know? laughs> I just want our listeners to know that it was not me who said that. I'm just saying. I'm glad you know that sounded sexist. I uh, see. At least I recognized it. I said it, but I immediately recognized it. Maybe that didn't come across the right way. But she wants mommy anyway. She don't care nothing about me. Uh, she, she told you point blank. I love mommy. I love Every mommy. Day. She says it. She <laughs> picks up the book and says it. Like, I love you, mommy, and then brings it to me to read. Some well, she loves you too, yeah, and she yeah. brings it to you to read. To read to, to reinforce mom. the fact that she <laughs> wants his, her mother. All right? She's like, let me explain something to you, Dad. This book says it perfectly. Read. All right, but um, so we we were going to discuss a quick dating topic while we got the uh, other ladies with us because yeah. I I think we've got into trouble before trying to uh, express a woman's point of view ourselves. So uh, we have actual women here today. Exactly. Not females. Women. Women. It's a big difference. It's a big so difference. It's a big, we ain't going to go there today, though. See, but now I feel like, what are, what's the audience going to think? Not females. Are they transgender? Like, you know, like, I don't know. Like, did I mess up by saying they were not female? See how confusing it is? It's confusing. It's confusing. It is confusing. It's like, just stay away. Just stay away. Right, I should have never went there. All right, anyway. So, I, I, Rich, this is your topic. I'll let you introduce all right, so this topic came up because I saw that they had, um, a, 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 I guess, a conversation surrounding this on the real. And what is, I saw, wait, hold on, what is the real? I have no idea. You, you keep saying it it's like it's a, it's a talk show. It's a talk show. Yeah, I don't know either. All right. I work for. It's a talk show. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's the one that um, what's her name? The Brackton sister was on. Um, I forget. Right. It's like the Tia or Tamara Mowry. One of them's up there. Pretty much is a panel of women, and they talk about all these uh, subjects. Okay, all right, all day. All right, I had to get out of the way. You kept saying, it, and I was like, I, I don't know. I thought that everybody that. just knew what the real was. No idea. No idea. All right. All right. So the topic they had was: Are Groupon dates okay? And is using a coupon on a date okay? All right. So, I know how I feel about it. Uh, Rich, you said you've never used. Groupon. I personally have never, like, literally, I've never purchased anything from Groupon. I have the application. Periodically, like I'll check it, but like uh-huh. I've never bought anything, never used it, so I don't. All right, all right. So let's get to the to the people that matter. <laughs> <laughs> like, how do you feel about Groupons or coup- we're doing coupons in general, right? Not just yeah. restricted to Groupon. I think if it's a first date, you probably shouldn't be trying to save money on the first date. Like if you try to make an impression, then maybe you should just you know. Pull the credit card out, pull some cash out, and then that's it, and y'all just walk out. But dates after that, I don't care. If you're using a Groupon or a coupon or something, hey, I got a coupon to the Boca de Beppo. You want to go? Let's the go. To the what? The Boca de Beppo. Boca de Beppo. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, I don't, I don't care. First date, you try to make an impression, you probably shouldn't use it. Dates after that, Groupons, coupons, whatever. Save some money. I don't care. Okay. Jesse? <laughs> Jesse? <laughs> Just, okay. I kind of agree with Tammy on the first date. It's a no-no for me. Um, no, don't be cheap. Um, it's not being cheap. It's like it, I'm trying to get to know you, and then you mm-hmm. immediately, what you, uh, you're trying to be cheap, really. You're not going to want to spend any details. Or, like, in the future, mm-hmm. you're trying to go cheap. Um Probably later on in a couple of days where we get to know each other and be familiar with each other. Yes, savings is good. 
but not at the beginning because I'm going to see it. Red flag. No, um, I can't handle that. So you say the first several dates. I'll probably top three dates. Yeah, because you're still getting to trying to figure each other out. Mm -hmm. You can start talking about like, mm -hmm. oh, how I handle financials, but that's typically like date number two, date number three kind of going. Mm -hmm. Then leading towards that. But my first date, it's like... No. First date's definitely no no. Dates two or three, yeah, you All probably right, so shouldn't be using. Let me it. let me lay out a scenario though. Let me lay out a scenario because this like personally for me, Groupon, uh, Groupon is some place I go not just for the deals, but for the ideas. Like yeah. sometimes there are things on Groupon I would have never thought to do. Exactly. And now I can get a deal on it for two. You know, so I might say. So let's say a guy says it's the first date. You can already you know you you know the guy, but y'all setting up the first date. And he's like, man, you know, I've always wanted to go uh, hang gliding. And I found this Groupon for hang gliding. We should go do that. And you go do something like original and fun and different. But he did use a Groupon to pay for it. Is that, a, is that a, is also a red, still a red flag? You know, I don't know. I don't think so. I think I am more on the dinner part. Like for yeah. dinner, like a coupon. So, like so trying to get a Popeye's be, and yes. do a meal like... So that was going to be my question because so I feel only like if it's dinner is the coupon off. If it's something else more adventurous, you can. Because the adventure, he already had to pay for up front right. using the Groupon. So you like you like right, anytime you use a Groupon, you, you pay for it up front, right? You pay for it up front, but at a restaurant, you have to show it up on your phone and like, hey, here's, you know, take the bill back and take this money off because I got a Groupon. If you go like hang gliding or zip lining or something, you just go check in like you would have a reservation anyway. And then you would, they would say, see that you already had a Groupon. It probably would even be bought up in the conversation. So it's okay to use a Groupon if you just don't know nothing about it. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> no, but I think when it comes to more adventurous stuff, at least I'll be more flexible because that crap is expensive. It gets expensive. It gets mm -hmm. expensive. So, no. Dinner is more like, uh, yeah. I think the dinner part and the drink part, yes. Um, I'll be a little more picky, but to go yeah, do something. Go, if you want to go hang gliding or zip gliding or something, it's going to be a good $200. And for a first date, that is expensive. Expensive, yeah. All right. I'm throwing out. Stop me anytime, Rich, but I just, I, this is fascinating <laughs> to me. All right. Scenario number two. All right. Scenario number two. <laughs> It's Austin. It's like Austin Restaurant Week, and that's when you guys go out on your first date. Mm -hmm. now, that's not technically using the coupon, because the deals are just deals. But if you choose to take a girl out on a first date on a weekend or a week that happens to be like everything half off week, is that being cheap? No, I mean we lucked out. <laughs> You, you have to express out. that I interest, mean, it, like say, it's, "Hey, it's I love you." It's premeditated. It's premeditated. Yeah, like if I'm that thorough with my planning. I'm like, you know what? I want to ask her out, but next week is restaurant week. Let you have me to wait to express that next interest week. and say, hey, you know, I'm really into restaurant weeks in different cities. You know, this restaurant oh, so we have, I want to try. City. I got to be a traveler, so like that. I can't just only have been to restaurant you week in Austin. Some kind of, you got to show that you're no, interested no, or fake. something. Why do y'all want the fakeness? No, no, no. I, I don't mean that you're fake. You like food. You like going to different I, restaurants. But I ain't all about different cities. No, and this one I don't agree with you, Tammy, because it's it may just happen to be that day. Like, mm -hmm. unless you, I noticed that you were just no, I can't, not at all until this day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll be an issue. I'm but sure if somebody just, did that too. If my mother was sick for like three weeks in a row, and then all of a sudden now, yeah, we're gonna, I, got the, yeah, I got the coupon that, book for the restaurant. Yeah. It's, it's like, <laughs> I'm ready to go just, now. She's healthy. Yeah, I think you have to pretty much seek out those restaurants too during restaurant week because I would. I would never know what restaurants are restaurant week restaurants unless I looked it up. Uh, it's websites. So I don't, I, don't that, that, I don't think that was a pretty good example either, though, because I don't know if you guys have ever looked into the Austin restaurant week. Uh, the cheap tickets are about seven fifty each. So that's with the coupon. I thought that with, with restaurant week, you just pretty much go to the restaurant and they have a prefix menu and you pay whatever. Like and they're they're all inclusive and they all team up with the company that supports it and mm -hmm. the cheap ticket is seven fifty. All right, oh, so they, they do it differently here in Austin. Yeah, than yeah, they do in other yeah. Another place you just like every restaurant has their own. Yeah, thing. exactly. Like when I went in New York, when I went in Chicago, it was totally different. You just go to that restaurant and they it was a prefix pre menu. Thing. Yeah, here you have to sign up and you have to get the ticket and you pick like however many restaurants and what location you want to go to and the the cheap one like i said started at about 750 and it went all the way up to i think it was 1500 
uh, per person for you to go to all of the restaurants. Yeah. That's too much. That's why I didn't do it. That's way too much. No. So again, here, like, here's my take on it, right? Like, I, I don't see the point in flossing unnecessarily to try to... If, if, if I have to impress you by spending money, then now I don't... I don't. I don't feel good about this relationship. Like, yeah. If I can't impress you by having a good idea about something to do, whether or not I'm able to find a deal on it or not, like if, if it's not impressive that I care about wasting money, you know, like you know, spending money frivolously, like I'm gonna take you someplace. I'm gonna take you someplace nice. I'm gonna take you someplace nice and have fun. It doesn't have to break the bank. It doesn't have to be expensive. It doesn't, you know. I could take you to a nice restaurant that I got a Groupon for. Like I, well, maybe I wouldn't have been able to afford to take you to that restaurant. I think it also depends on uh, people's uh, what they consider to be a good first date. So for me, my first date, I'm not trying to impress anybody. We don't want to hear about you because you probably well, got I'm like. Trying to impress nobody on the first date because his, his, I don't think a first date is for you to try to impress nah, someone. I personally feel rich. like. A first date is trying to get to know someone. Yeah. I wouldn't go on a first date and spend hundreds like of dollars anyway. Rich is pulling up in a limo. Y'all are, <laughs> I don't. I don't do that. Y'all are gonna take a, a, a yeah, hot air balloon that. ride to the restaurant <laughs> and a helicopter back. You know, everybody's getting lobster. Just because I like the to do, I like to do so nice rich. stuff, but that doesn't not not on a first date. It's on a first bar. date, I want to get to know the person. So therefore. I wouldn't necessarily go to a movie because in a movie you wouldn't oh, be speaking. Yeah, no. yeah. You know, I wouldn't want to go to a fancy restaurant because it's not going to be inducive uh, to um, being uninhibited and having great conversation. I want to go someplace and do like an activity, play bowling, do some sports, do hang gliding, zip lining, something where you can have fun with that person um, that um, I guess, you know, you know you're, it promotes being open and honest and having a good time. And um, I guess doing an activity also opens up that flood way to, um, I guess, being able to trust another person and seeing if they're going to be able to have your back and support you and things like that. So, therefore, anything that I do wouldn't necessarily be trying to impress a person. I just want to get to know them and their core values. After that, dates two, three, or four. <laughs> <laughs> That's how my dates normally go. That's, those are the things that I, I try to do. That's just, my thought process. And this is why we have to do the show together because you get to be, like, the good dude and I just get to be myself. But, like, I... I guess I don't do well with expectations. And if I feel like like you just expecting something yeah. from me because it's what you expect, then I just he can't. Do exact I'm going to do the exact <laughs> motherfucking opposite. Like, I, I have to. is is in my DNA. It's just off of petty, petty principle. It's just off of petty principle. Like, And I don't, like, you know, our first date, I don't know. I, I want it to be fun. Like I said, I want to get to know you. I want it to be fun. I want it to be interesting. But I don't, like you said, I don't know you. I don't know if there's going to be a date too. Which I'm is not, why you I'm don't not go trying out to spend, spend all of that money. Yeah, I'm not trying to spend two or three weeks recovering from date number one. Like, I, uh, we can't go out again until I get another paycheck. So you just go and have to <laughs> chill. <laughs> oh, on that note, Groupon has changed for the restaurants now. Yeah. All you have to do, just helping you guys out so uh, the girl won't find out. Well, hold on, y'all. Not for you. Um, mm-hmm. But it's you linked your card, and apparently they give you cash back. Ah, okay. So as long like as you eBay's. use that card. Like eBay, it's kind mm-hmm. of the thing. Card, yeah, because I used to go to It's a Grind coffee mm-hmm. shop on Palmer and always there was always a Groupon mm-hmm. for it. And now I can't buy the Groupon. It's basically I use yeah. a card and it's cash back kind of style oh, yeah. for restaurants. So it's kind of changed. All right. And so what we learned today is as long as they don't know, you can be <laughs> as cheap as you want to. Take them someplace nice, pay nothing for it as long as they don't, they don't get to see the bill. You got to make sure you grab that for... Okay. Here's a good question. I'm glad I just brought that up. I appreciate a courtesy reach. I, I do. If the bill mm-hmm. comes, don't don't show up on a date with me with no purse. Now you better I, you better have a card with you just in case. Yeah. You never know. I do. I'm, I'm the same way. I appreciate never know. it. And when the bill comes, if I would like you to, you know, just, and I nah, I got that. <laughs> yeah. I got that. I'm get it regardless. But I, yeah, I, I appreciate I usually the insist reach. anyway. But. When it when it comes, don't do a little slide and, and look up at me and right. look up at the bill. <laughs> bill come and you just yeah, you know. Now that now that we marry, I think uh, I think a couple of times like the bill comes and it's like a it's a standoff. Right? <laughs> 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 you got it. Do you got? I ain't I ain't. You gonna have to say something. You gonna have to say something <laughs> before I touch that bill. <laughs> You gonna have to explicitly ask me to pay for this. Are you treating me? Because I did last time. I just 
don't even bring anything. I barely even bring Come a phone the into the restaurant. No ID, no car. I make no sure I have at least a diaper bag, and that is it. Oh. And she no. don't do this, and it's not like she tells me this before we leave the house. So we could easily end up someplace and just be a hundred percent ass out because I didn't bring nothing. <laughs> she didn't bring nothing. We didn't ate everything, and now we sitting there like, uh, who gonna pay for this? Who gonna pay for this? Yeah, I see y'all calling me. Right. No, 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 that's when we get together. But all right. Now you go get go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> and when you leave the bathroom, you get on to the door. Bathroom, you know, sometimes you gotta do it. That's so, bad for the economy. Who Anyways. here? Yeah, who here has walked out on the bill? I've never walked out on the no. bill. You have. Why is you? that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I used to be a waitress. Yeah. No. How have you walked out on the bill? And when did you do this? You know what? You know what makes me walk out on the bill is when it's time to pay, and I've asked you for the bill. And now I sat here for another half an hour and you haven't brought me the bill. Now, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. And if you ain't assisting me getting out, I'm a lay. I'm gone. I I'm have threatened you. to walk out. There was one time I was in D.C. and I was just waiting yeah. for the bill to come. And I'm like, watch, let's just stand up and put our coats on. And then all of a sudden, here come the guy mm-hmm. running. Nah, I mean, I'm talking big shit. The one time I ran out <laughs> on a bill was, uh, we, was at, we went to Phillips. So this was a big bill. And it was a lot of us. We went to Phillips. And uh, it had to have been like nine or ten of us. And we were pooling money together at the end to pay the bill. Um, and we gave it to a guy. We were all coworkers, and we gave it to one guy to pay. And he took the money and he was like, I'm going to get some Jordans and walked out. And so everybody's like, well, we just gave him all the money. You know, we can't Why put up a second the- collection. We, uh, he's a trustworthy dude. He was, Obviously I guess not. his plan was to ditch the bill. His, his plan from the moment we got in there, he just didn't tell nobody. So when he got up and walked out... So he legit took the money and left? He took the money and left. Like, legit. Like, left. And so when he walked out, like, everybody's looking at each other for 30 seconds or so. And they were like, fuck it, we got to go. Like, Why didn't y'all stop got him? No well, you, you, first of all, you don't expect it to happen. So it's not like when somebody gets up, you're like, I need to go. You, you're waiting for them to come back. Like, ah, this is a, this is a joke. Yeah. All right, he, he coming back. He ain't coming back. <laughs> So, yeah, we got in the cars, and we ran him down, and he gave everybody their money back, but I, he never intended to pay the bill. All right, so I got a follow-up question. Um, when you're on a date, do you judge a guy based off of how much he tips? Yes. But you try not to even look to see mm-hmm. what they're, because that's his, that's your business. That's what you're signing. You try not to look, but if I do see it and you tip like 10%, mm-hmm. I'm judging All you. All right, so my thing is I'm a chronic 18 to 20 percent tipper so regardless of what it is like unless my service is just totally shitty Mm -hmm. i nine times out of ten it's always 18 to 10 percent however i am one of those people who i don't really agree with the tipping system so perfect example we're both at the same exact restaurant you get to be the asshole this time (laughs) no so we're sitting at the same exact restaurant jared is sitting a table across from me he orders a cheeseburger and cheeseburger is ten bucks. He tips on top of the ten dollars. Um, I'm sitting across from him. I get a ribeye steak. Get the same exact service, probably worse than him, but my bill is a hundred dollars. So now I tip on top of one hundred dollars. The waitress, waiter, whoever it was, didn't do any more for me than they did for Jared, and they pocket that tip. So why is it the tip based off of the merchandise and not the service? That is that is a, a, an excellent point, Rich. But yeah. You know, I tip. Uh, I I tend to frequent the same places, so I tip. I tip to get service. I tip for the next time I come back. Mm-hmm. So I tip so that person remembers me when I come back. You know, they might not have been the best waitress this time. But when I come back, they remember me, and I might get you know better service. I tip five dollar minimum, no matter what. But I've gone mm-hmm. to a bar and gotten like a two dollar soda. I do the same thing as like tip the you can't tip eighteen percent off of a dollar. That just doesn't work. Yeah, so. Like, you when I was a waitress, <laughs> <laughs> but I go to say, and I, you know, when it comes to barbers, cab drivers, like it's it's benefited me throughout my life that people know I'm going to tip well, mm-hmm. you know, because when I come in, a barber will will you know boot somebody that was in line ahead of me to get me in and out, cause, you know, he's gonna get that tip. I had cab drivers, cab drivers who who didn't want to go to where I was asking yeah. them to go, but another cab, he was like, nah, he's, he's good Yeah, the people. same thing works for me. Yeah, I've, I've always done it for barbers. When I go to the airport, as soon as I get there and I'm about to check in my bags, I already got my tip in my hand, and they don't even bother to weigh my bags. They just put me through because they know they're going to get that tip. Get tip. So, I and mean, it's, it it's worked for me. Like, you know, with, with bartenders at bars, at, 
and restaurants, mm-hmm. and I frequent the same places. And Tammy know, and we go to uh, Kirby all the time. Mm-hmm. And you know the wait staff, the, the wait staff yeah. knows us. They know us. They know us. You know we've had a meal comp there once before. They know. They know our order. They know, they know our order. Tea. You know, and that's that's. I want that level. Of, I don't even like taking things for free. Like I'm Reggie used to. Like I'm. A, I'll cut your hair for free. I'm like nah, duh. I'd rather pay. Because if I pay, then I can get in your ass when you fuck it up. I'm like, duh, <laughs> this is not. If you do it for free, I got to be like, oh, thanks, man. I, I appreciate that. But if I paid you for something, you know, yeah. uh, you owe and Like me I said, I don't, I don't mind tipping. I'm not against tipping, and that's what the system is. So I, I genuinely try to tip well every single time, especially because we go to the same places every single time. <laughs> it's just off principle, I don't understand why it's not based off of service and off of the item when we're getting the same exact service you have to base a tip less. off of some amount um yeah and also she probably did the upsell on you and not on jared so she worked for that for you to get the rebuy, rebuy steak instead of getting a cheeseburger mm-hmm. possible i just don't like it <laughs> <laughs> we don't have to like it because uh, no that i'm uh, going off topic right a little tipping is getting crazy in this world lately like everything now everybody wants a tip. You yeah. tip for you, everything. Yeah. That's not how it works. Yeah. Uh, but going back to the dating part, I try like Tammy. Um, I try not to look with his tipping because that's his business. That's his finances. Mm-hmm. He knows and all that. Um, I do try to reach for the bill. There we go. Uh, there we I do go. try mm-hmm. because I don't know. You know, you can't expect. I it. can't expect yeah. him to pay. Maybe we'll just do half and half. Like I. I'm like sure, why not? Half and half. We'll do half, no matter what was we'll spent, half and half, and we're good. No. So the guy he... grabs the bill, is like, okay, so your portion. Oh. <laughs> that's another thing. That's that's a follow up. I hate when you go out with a group of people and then everybody becomes a math whiz and they try to figure out just what their portion is. Okay, we just split it. But four they ways. don't. They don't yeah. figure out. They don't add tax. They don't add tip. And then it's like, oh, mine was seven ninety five, and they give you seven ninety five. I don't. I, I hate that. I can't go out with people like that. I, I, no. It's I a pain, it. and just, just split it, put the money on the table. You Either only order water. Somebody pay for the entire thing. Yeah. And then you know we'll you know rotate. You get it yeah. next time. I get it next time. Whatever. Or we split this thing four ways. Now, if somebody drinks a whole lot and a whole bunch then of us then that's didn't, that's understandable. Then, you know, we might but if have you to just sit there and you got bit. water and you ate one of my fries, then that's your fault that you. <laughs> you agree to take part in this this oh, yeah. Yeah, now I, I prefer to either we sit down and we tell the waitress you know me and you and blah 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 mm-hmm. blah or whatever or uh, or somebody pay for the whole thing because I think when in the split I always end up giving more than my share because I'd rather give more than for somebody to look at me like I didn't yeah. give enough mm-hmm. so I think I always end up putting in that's what I do I always go I'll, I'll overboard than I'm supposed when we to. split. Yeah, and it's like either somebody ends up with a big tip or somebody else ends up paying less because they look at the money at the end and like, oh, we're only $5 short. But that's because everybody else Yeah, I always I always pay to. extra because I, don't, I, I just don't want to at the end not have enough. Yeah. I just think we have a good group of friends regardless because either we're splitting it down the middle yeah, or, or, you're paying, paying or, or you're paying or you're paying or you're paying or something. We, we pretty much rotate so we, we even out. Oh yeah. At the I, end of the day, you gotta watch who you hang out with. Yes. yes. I mean, I I've never had that issue with any of the any of my current friends mm-hmm. and any of the people that I ever hang out with right now, which is a good thing. I'm just thinking back, and it's just one of those things that I've always I think it's hated. The age thing too. Yeah. Back when we were younger, everybody's like, "All right, I spent seven ninety nine. Mm-hmm. You spent ten ninety nine. You better just, give your eleven. Yeah, so I, I, I want to tell this story because uh, it, it brought it made <laughs> this made it come to mind, and I'm I'm, I'm still pissed off to this day. Uh, <laughs> Sophia. And Reginald. You calling them out by name? I'm calling them out by motherfucking government names. We went to uh, is it L'Oreal Plot? L'Oreal Plaza. L'Oreal Plaza. The Beans incident. The motherfucking Beans incident. We went there. Hilarious. Uh, it was like, you should meet us over at L'Oreal Plaza, you know, for drinks or whatever after work. <laughs> I'm like, cool. And at this point, like, I was seriously broke. Like, I was really, really broke. I think either I was, like, in between contracts or something, but... I ain't had a whole lot of money, but I'm like, I'm going to go, like, get one margarita, you know, mm-hmm. whatever. I can afford one margarita. I ain't going to tell people I'm broke. I can't hang out. So, I go. We get there. They got pictures of margaritas. So, I'm like, all right, even better. I could probably, you know, Sophia Reggie got money. I could probably just drink off this picture and then, like, dip off, you know, when it, mm-hmm. at some point. So, they're drinking the margaritas and Reggie's eating something. 
or Sophia's eating something and they got beans on it and she decides to get playful put the beans on the spoon like she can right flick them at Reg right and I'm already like fuck this is going this is going south this is going south, this is going south. what is going to happen so he like don't flick the beans long story short she flicks the beans <laughs> <laughs> And then this dude, in retaliation, doesn't throw a margarita in her face. He throws whatever is left in the pitcher in her face. So now my man got beans on, just beans on his shirt or wherever it hit. She got margarita everywhere. Uh, no, when he threw the margarita, he got up and left. Just, ah, margarita in your face. <laughs> Peace, I'm gone. Right? <laughs> so then That's she, cold. yeah, That's it's cold. Literally so, cold. So she like takes a minute. To uh, assess the situation, like I just got margarita thrown in my face. So she left. Bam, gone. <laughs> so now I'm the only one left at the table, and it was, I think it was like a hundred and thirty dollar bill or something. So I got hit with that. I get outside. Uh, Sophia's still out there. We end up, you know, like all right, let's just get a cab and go home. So we get we sharing a cab. Uh, we driving, and she sees Reggie's car. So the cab stops because we in traffic. She hops out the cab. Uh, to go chase after Reggie in his car. So now I'm stuck in the cab with the cab bill all by myself. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> These the friends that I have. My well, friends, you know, they, they better people now. We grew up. But I was, cold. Oh, that was a cold night. She's always sending the baby some clothes. Yeah, she just, she sent the baby her Easter dress. So yeah, I appreciate you. Dog she came down here I ain't appreciate too. you that night though. <laughs> I was broke. I was broke for real. Like, that was like everything. I don't think you've ever been broke. Between that meal, and because you know my idea broke. Yeah, yeah, your yeah. idea broke has to be different than yeah, what yeah. the norm is. Uh, this Whenever I have to worry about money, I'm broke. I think my idea of broke is I got three dollars in my checking account. No, I, if I, I can't pay I my might, next bill. Right. I kill myself. <laughs> I don't know what I'd do <laughs> if I saw three dollars in there. If I see three dollars in my account, it, I'm going to the bank. Right. What What happened? I know this ain't my. This ain't my account. Y'all need to tell me where every penny went because I'm confused. My idea confused. broke is I'm allotting fifteen dollars a week to eat. That means I need to go into the grocery store and buying fifteen packs of ramen, or I'm going to the dollar menu at McDonald's and I'm eating that. No, no when I'm when I'm someplace and I'm looking at something and I'm doing the math in my head like, okay, this is fifteen dollars. I got but that's gonna leave me. That's when I'm broke. Like that. Anytime I got to start like. Making, you know, doing math when I go to buy something. Those life decisions. Those life decisions, I'm broke. That was back in our early 20s, though. So I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't like getting there. Mm-hmm. 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 Glad I, those days are over. I never understood people who could uh, write a check before they had the money. I can't. Ooh, that hurts. I, I, can't, I can't do that. I, I'd be too scared that they cash it right away. Like, I'm going to write this check because they're not going to get it until Tuesday. I'm going to get paid on Friday. Nah, buddy. Mm-hmm. I can't do it. I know who somebody who's notorious for that. Back when we, <laughs> I, I I have friends who do that, and I'm like, yeah, that's a dangerous game. That's a dangerous game to play. I don't. I can't do it. Mm-hmm. I like to have the money in my account, and I'm I'm one of those people. I like to put extra money in my savings account so it auto goes over, and um, pretend like my savings account just doesn't no exist. exist. I pretend like it doesn't exist, yeah. and like Renee, I'd be like, uh, "Do you have any money?" I'm, I'm broke. Nope. Don't, don't even got it. She don't listen to the show, so I can tell you, <laughs> I got like. It's gonna be the one episode she listens to. <laughs> I got like an emergency two hundred dollars in my wallet that she don't know about, and I, I just don't spend it. I don't carry I cash no more. I, I, don't, I, don't, I can't carry that much. You never know. You, you, you never know. I, I, I hate no carrying more. cash, but do you know how long? This money has been in my wallet. Well, then you didn't need it. That's why it's still there. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's for emergency. You never know. You might be somewhere that don't take hard, broke uh, down by the side of the road or something. Cash. You you never know. That's the East Coast of me. I've been robbed too many times. I, can't do it. I've been robbed like mm-hmm. once. Everybody has like PayPal. <laughs> once is enough. Yeah. It's enough, right? Once is too many times. Once was enough. Robbed. Like, hey, I don't carry cash. No. I can cancel these cards. I remember I was robbed, and they actually didn't even take my wallet. They took my laptop, but they didn't take my wallet. Those are dumb robbers. Don't look at them. There's the baby. Gotta get the baby. Get the baby. Mm -hmm. But we thank y'all for joining us. I think this was a good conversation. Mm -hmm. Y'all should stop judging dudes like that, though. I'm I'm gonna keep judging. Who who you gonna be judging? She'll be judging all the guys I date. Oh, okay. (laughs) All right, one one final question. One final question. So, y'all heard about the Janet Jackson divorce by now, right? 
Yes. No, Have I don't follow so, current events at all. Yeah, she so Janet Jackson. She don't follow black music. Janet music. Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Janet Jackson is uh, divorcing her husband. Um, when they got married, they signed a prenup. Um, if she stays for five years and they have a child, she gets a ma- hundred million dollars. They got she divorced. Gets yeah, she gets a hundred million dollars if she stays in the marriage for five years and they have a child. They got divorced five years and two months into the marriage. After the child. Yeah. Well, he's, for he's, some reason, he I said stay five years. She stayed five years and two months. For some reason, I just it's, it's hard for me to imagine that Janet Jackson was strapped for cash or something. Like, I, don't I don't think she's strapped for cash, but at the same time, he's a billionaire. I mean, she, she's reported to have about one hundred and seventy-five million. So I mean, so by the way you look there. at it, he's she's still a billionaire. He's still a billionaire. So she's gonna get a hundred million. I mean, maybe I feel bad for the plus. dude. He has to pay for somebody to be with him for five years. <laughs> right, I'm just right. saying that's pretty much what happened. Yeah, uh, with me and all those agreement prenups that have like, well, if you stay with me for X amount and give me three children, you get paid like a hunch. You're buying me. Mm-hmm. I, I. So that's so that's the question. Do you think like she stayed for five years because she was honestly in the marriage, or did she was she like really looking towards that uh, get out of jail free card uh, yeah. preset date? I'm, I, a, I I'm think, a judge and say yeah. get out. She, yeah, yeah. she wanted, card. yeah. I think maybe, you know, I don't think she entered it with that mindset, but maybe four years in, it was like, I really don't want to be here no more, but I got to do another year and I got to have a kid. Let's knock this, get this. this Yeah, because she just had the kid and then five, come on, five years and two months. Soon as five years hit, she was like, started making her plan. And all of a sudden, like five years and two months, she already had her own place and moved out. All of the locks have been changed on their shared place. Everything was like already set up. So as soon as five years hit, you took this two months to make the master plan and moved out and ha- already got the paperwork and did everything. Yeah. What kind of shit? And you don't see many people get divorced like right after a kid shows up. Yeah. At that point is normally when you want to stay in there mm-hmm. just to have, you know, some additional support. I know my mother got divorced when she found out she was pregnant, like before I was born yeah. to prevent him from trying to stay around mm-hmm. just for the son. But... I can't imagine somebody having a kid and then being like, okay, I got this new kid. Like, it's too like uh, I'd rather be by myself, though. Holla. Mm-hmm. You know, so yeah, I definitely think the timing was strategic, but I, I don't think she went into the marriage. Like, I just got to do five years. Yeah. Five and five I, years I, is a long time. It's a long time. Yeah. To be with somebody you don't give. Like, that's got to wait a little bit about. longer. <laughs> just a little bit I, I, I really, I don't know. My relationships don't pass. <laughs> I just think that whole situation was crazy. My cousin posted it online, so, uh, and my cousin called her a gold digger and said that uh, Janet had been trying to get a penny since she played Penny. Aww. I, I thought that was fucked up. Aww. It's funny. So yeah, uh, gentlemen. Janet has some money. She's good. So yeah, gentlemen, uh, if you are an eligible bachelor and you uh, you don't use coupons on your first date, <laughs> uh, hit us up. We might have a little connection for you. You got to be in the Austin area, though. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be in the Austin area. Austin, Austin area. area, gainfully employed. Catholic. Catholic. That'd Very be good. important. Yeah. Catholic or willing to convert. Catholic or willing to convert. Willing to convert. Willing to convert. Approval has to go this through you guys, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You got to interview with us first. And I swear to God, you take me out with a group on, that's it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's and I eat ribeyes. I need steak. He needs, yes. And I need some lobster mac and cheese. Ooh, that's so delicious. Yeah. Lobster mac so and cheese. So you trying to go good. to. What's that place called? That place y'all keep going without me? Uh, What's it called? What place we That got? place that we went. That you're going to Yeah. You're always going to. And y'all get Steiner this. Steiner Ranch Steakhouse. Steiner Ranch. Oh! With well, the bone I went there once. Ribeye. I went with her before, too. So, there you go. I did. Yeah. Oh, we'll put that so, Steiner too. Ranch. Yeah, you need to take uh, me and Rich to Steiner Ranch. I kind of want a ribeye now. And, uh, and, and Hamps. And, and Hamps. You got to. And we'll interview you there. If you pass the interview, then. Uh, then you can meet Jesse. Then you can meet Jesse. That's what we're gonna do. Right. We're gonna, we gonna, we gonna work this out for you. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness we, nobody can see me we right now. My face, <laughs> we my reaction you. to this. And I think what we got, we got, you got to give us some Catholic questions to ask them just to make sure that they are Catholic. Like, can you say a Hail Mary? We need to hear a whole Hail Mary. Some Catholics don't even know how to say that. See, can't do that. What kind of fake ass Catholic? <laughs> <laughs> can't judge them by that. Hail Mary. No, mother full of, of, full of So if, he, if he's not Catholic, but he's Christian. 
Oh, yeah. Uh, if you believe in God, uh, my thing is believing in the higher power mm-hmm. in God, right? And having that faith. Um, I want somebody that to con- that allows me to continue mm-hmm. to bring me closer to God, right? I don't want somebody to be in my life to pull Can't me away. But I'm denominations happy. are off limits, like uh, Seven Day Adventists. Uh, uh, <clears throat> Probably because I am not worried because he wants the female probably always in the dress and mm, Mormon. No. no. Can can he be a Mormon? No. Hey, what's up with this uh, the Israelite thing? You, you, that seems to be a trend right now. Everybody's like, well, black people are because mm-hmm. uh, Kendrick is now Israelite. Uh, I never heard this trend. No. Okay, so, yeah. uh, I, I used to have a lot of Israelite this, friends in in New York. Yeah. They're the original woke man and connected to God and Mother Africa and all it's that. It's just, to I, me, I have a hard time going with something, with any denomination that believes in that 144,000 thing. Because there have been way more than 144,000 people who have existed on this planet yeah. up until now. So your chances. <laughs> I'm just saying, my, that don't fill me with, like, hope. Like, I feel like, I, well, forget it then. I might as well... Send it up, cause I, <laughs> I, I ain't making it. <laughs> I ain't gonna crack that hundred and forty four. I don't know. I don't know. So I'm, I'm not trying to diss your religion. Like I just don't. I, I don't get it. Yeah, I don't. I don't know much about it. I'm Christian. I'm. My parents were Baptist. Um, I'm pretty much non-denominational, cause it, it's never really mattered to me that much. As long as I had a close relationship with God, it wasn't really a big deal. Yeah. But that's just me. I don't, mm-hmm. don't want to knock anybody else. That's what got you doing right and got you this far. Whether you say in Jesus Christ or home do a lot. That's a common line. It's not mine. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go get the baby. All right. Well, thank you, ladies, for joining thank us. Thank you. We appreciate it. So the bottom line is don't be cheap on a first date. Don't be cheap. Man. Don't pick an expensive first bottom date. Bottom line is don't tell me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> Well, bad things is going to happen. Listen, when, when you go to the bathroom, slip the waiter the coupon. <laughs> Right, you can be cheap as long as they don't know you're being cheap. I think I think I I, I think that's what uh, what it comes down to. Right, you got to look like you're, see, and that that pisses me off. I got to look like I'm. Got portray something. I got to yeah, I got to put on a face. I don't. This is me. I like the freedom to be who I. That's why I. This is why I created this podcast. This is why you know. Say what I want. This is why I'm married. I don't want to play these games no more. I got a wife. My wife knows me. I get to be who I want to be. I get on this podcast. I get to say what I want to say. Why? Because it's my podcast. I don't want to put on a face for nobody. And that's my downfall. I can dig it. <laughs> that's what's going to keep me where I am now. Because I, I won't play the game. What? I don't know. I don't know. We going to talk about anything else before? Or are we going to wrap this one up? And, uh, oh, we can pretty much wrap it up soon. What time? Where are we at? Uh, we about 40 minutes in. Okay, so I just actually today finally reminded Renee about the um the Odyssey concert. Okay, so I just looked up uh, Empire Control Room because um, at first I was gonna ask, uh, are we gonna carpool? And then I remember like it's free parking there, so it's pretty much with you guys. I don't, I don't mind either way. Yeah. But then I was like, wait, Empire Control Room didn't have any food, so therefore, do I do we have to leave early to eat ahead of time? I can't get there at nine and then be like hungry. Throughout the concert, I ain't going to the concert. Yeah, I was talking to Tammy about where we would, uh, you know, so. about getting food before the before the show. I mean, you know, we, we could do Easy Tiger again if you guys want to hit. Oh, that yeah, up. Easy Tiger is right there. Uh, but I mean, it's downtown, so we got we got Hell options. options. Hell of options. But yeah, looking forward to that show. All August, August, April twenty eighth. Yep. Odyssey Empire and Control Room. Uh, the White Pants Society will be in the building. Odyssey in good company. Yeah, I'm looking Who's forward to that. There? His uh his band is uh Saint Oliver, Olivier Saint Louis. Okay, yeah, I was way off. <laughs> Riders Against the Storm. Well, I'm looking forward to the show. Yeah, hey, it's gonna be an awesome show. Like I said, when uh when we discussed hip hop the last time, uh, I think Odyssey would give would give K Dot a run lyrically. Now, I'm not saying he's better than him, but I think yeah, I think he'd definitely give him a run. I like Odyssey, so it'd be interesting to I see. Give him a run. I think, but Royce is. Hands down. The greatest right now. So, in perfect example, Empire Control Room. That's perfect example of one of those places where I wouldn't mind having cash. The way it was crowded last yeah. time, I'd, I'm not trying to slide my card. I'm not trying to have my car get stolen. 
this, let me get this extra 20 out of my pocket and, and keep it pushing. That is the other reason why I don't like to carry cash. Because I, you know, I come from the old school where, you know, you your bills are folded together. Mm-hmm. You know, I normally go uh, smaller bills on the outside, yeah. bigger bills on the inside. Mm-hmm. But then I always run into that, like, at a bar or something, trying to get cash out of my pocket. Don't want to pull the whole yeah. It wild is, it, out. It is weird. Cause... And then, like, trying to only get that bill without any yeah. other bills falling out. And then, like, I got... So it's, like, tucked in there, but it's a, it's a bunch of them. But it's, it's rolled, and then I got to pull it out, and then I got to... Yeah, so yeah. It, it is weird, but... I don't want nobody to see how much money I have yeah. on me. I didn't give it time. See, I got the little, like, the sweaty couple mm-hmm. ones, like I've been to the strip club or something. Yeah, it's a it's it's the emergency fund. I, I really try not to spend um, my cash. I try to hold on to it for as long as possible because I hate trying to go back to the ATM to take out cash. Yeah. So. Right. Yeah. See, that mic makes a lot of difference. Just cut the ladies' mic off. Yeah. And all of a sudden, it's like Ooh. super clear in here. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Felt like a brand new show. <laughs> but we get ready to, to shut it off. But uh, but that was good. That was some yeah. some good clarification. Good conversation. Always nice to have a Groupons are okay, fellas. Just depends on what you're going to do with it. Yeah. Uh, another one of my friends told me the same thing. Like, you know, vehemently against a Groupon on the first date. But if you do it, it got to be for a good reason. Right. Something but, like zip lining or yeah. like something. In that fun. conversation that you um, that you posted on Facebook, somebody did make a comment that uh, resonated with me about not liking Groupons because... You're not sure that the person purchased that Groupon. Yeah, that's, for you. that's what I wanted to mention and when I the actually, ladies were in here. Yeah, I, I didn't want to mention it when the ladies were in here because I actually have done that. <laughs> <laughs> Where I purchased the Groupon to go out with somebody else. And when that situation fell mm-hmm. through, still had the Groupon. I was like, hey, like, yo, you want to go to mm-hmm. whatever? Yeah. yeah, I've had to pull that move. So, yeah, I can, that's a legitimate concern. I can see why that, why a person. Yeah, like if it's Groupon's super back. premeditated, and um, I can, I can, I can see that. Oh man! <clears throat> but uh, we thank y'all for rocking with us through another episode. We are uh, uh, we getting up there. Uh, I don't even know what the number of this episode because we recorded a few, and I don't know. Uh, I don't know how we're going to release them. So this is episode. Blah, 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 blah. And um, again, thank you for listening. TTCharities.org. I know they are in uh, Detroit right now. Um, you know, doing big things for the people, trying to. Trying to get clean water to the people of Flint, Michigan. I, th- I said they were in Detroit. Then. Uh, <clears throat> trying to get clean water to the people in Flint, Michigan. So um, so please, as always, check out the website. Um, donate time, money, clothes, books. Uh, any any little bit helps. Any little bit helps. A retweet, a repost. Um, just keep people aware of what's going on. Uh, let people know uh, that there are people out there that they can, they can partner with uh, to try to help. And uh, let's be our brother's keeper. Let's take care of each other. And I don't got my notes together, so I'm gonna skip them shout outs. <laughs> but uh But uh celebrity hair core dot big cartel yeah, that's dot com. I, said, I ain't get I ain't get my notes together. Yeah. I I can't remember. Celebrity hair core dot big cartel dot com. I think he actually bought the URL and rerouted it. So if you just go to celebrity hair corp. All right, so just um, celebrity hair corp dot com. Yeah. Um and as always, uh free shipping, no tax. Yep. All right. Celebrity hair corp dot com, all of your hair needs. Whatever they may be. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, free free shipping, uh, no tax. Hit them up. All right. But with that said, uh, be the light. Peace. Peace.